What's up, fam? We hit up Southern California to try some of the best Uyghur cuisine the West Coast has to offer at Dolan's in Orange County. Come and grub with us on this episode of Haroon Eats and Travels. At Dolan's Uyghur cuisine in Irvine, California, man. Got a lot of amazing dishes, everything from cumin lamb to the big chicken plate to pearl noodles and the polo. We also got their amazing lamb tower coming in. I don't know what the lamb tower is about. It's my first time trying it, but I'm assuming it's a bunch of meat. Uyghur cuisine has a heavy emphasis on lamb and beef. And of course, the number one thing here is that everything here is halal. So I'm ready to dig in. Got the fam in tow and let's eat. Dolan's Uyghur cuisine is a nice little spot with great ambience, great decor, representing the, the Uyghur culture to the fullest. So we ordered the dapanji, the big chicken plate, some extra noodles to go with that. And of course, we had to order some of the polo as well as some cumin lamb. We also ordered their version of the pearl noodle plate and some dumplings. Let's grub. So we got the cumin lamb. We're about to get this, look at this. Nice tender pieces of lamb with sa sauteed in onions, cumin, and chili pepper. Let's give this a try. All right guys, let's try this cumin lamb. That's how I like it, ma'am. The cumin hits nice and spicy and sauteed to perfection, ma'am. Oh, that's really good. It's got heat, but for those who can handle heat, it ain't bad at all. It's really good. Next on the hit list, the pearl noodles. Let's give this a try. So you got sauteed bell peppers, I believe. This isn't supposed to be hot and spicy. This is supposed to be lightweight, hopefully. But well, you got nice chunks of beef. Let's give this a try. So unlike your other traditional hand pulled noodles, these are actually chopped noodles. So they're all chopped up nice and nice and even, you know what I mean? And if you're used to the long traditional noodles, I still think you can enjoy this dish, man, because this is actually one of my favorite dishes and one of my wife's favorite dishes. That thing is piping hot, man. Mm. All right. So what I do though, man, I take a little bit of that cumin lamb just to add a little bit more kick to them pearl noodles, man. Mm, it's so good. If you guys already didn't know from my videos, my previous videos, man, I love dumplings, man. And if they're done right, you won my heart. So let's check these dumplings out, man. All right, guys. So these are steamed dumplings, Uyghur style steamed dumplings. Let's see what's up in here. So it's piping hot. So I'm being brave when I'm doing this. So check this out. Look at that, nice and steamy. All right, guys, we're about to dig into these dumplings. Mm, that is a really good dumpling, man. I'm massacring through this. I got family with me, so all manners are out the door. Anyways, whenever I eat, you got to enjoy your food, man. The meat is nice and juicy, steamed to perfection. Yeah, they do it right at Dolan's, man. This is a lamb kebab tower. Look at this lamb, man. Covered in white sesame seed, black seeds, with some really, what the heck? Bro. No, that is flavorful, dude. I can't even describe the flavor, but very sesame. Mmm. Bro, this lamb doesn't even taste gamey, dude. It's just weird. Cause it's like, I can't, it doesn't taste lamby at all. Mm-mm. It was really good. They're gonna be like, that was elephant. It is nice and tender. You have to chew on the meat quite a bit, but it is tender meat. You just gotta chew through this fat, man. And it's really good. I really don't know what portion of the lamb they used here, but the sesame and whatever spices they used on this is right. They have this, it has this really nice crispy outer crust to it. Meat beneath the crust is nice and tender. It is definitely a winner. My cousin Jean just said I should try this salad. I could smell that, it's nice. It has a nice, and like, I wouldn't want to say pungent in a bad way, but it's got a nice pungent smell. And you could actually smell, yeah, I definitely could smell the garlic. Woo. Oh yeah, let's give this a try. You need to mix up some greens with all this meat that we're eating, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I know I definitely have to, but. So you got kidney beans, got some cucumbers, some lettuce and tomatoes. But I guess what makes this salad 
is the dressing, right? And not the actual contents of the salad, right? The salad itself looks like a like a Caesar salad with some, you know, and Greek style salad, but with the olives and whatnot. But see how this dressing tastes, man. Gene says it's a winner, so I believe him. Because he was like, he didn't want, you know, at first he looked at it, and even I looked at it, I was like, that doesn't look that impressive, but it's not about the looks always, man. Sometimes it's about the flavor. All right, let's dig in. Bro, that is hecka good. Mmm. So there's definitely some sesame oil in there. We've got some sesame oil, some garlic, and of course, a combination of beans, olives, lettuce and tomato. Yeah, this hits actually, dude. All right, let's try the chicken, man. Can't beat the big chicken plate. Of course, the noodles have to be amazing, but the main component is the chicken, man. That's why it's called the big chicken plate, man. Mm. Oh, man. Chicken is braised to perfection. Oh my God. Nice, soft, tender pieces of chicken. This chicken is amazing. How to get these oodles of noodles, man. I love Uyghur handful noodles. Look how big these are, man. Look how wide these are. <laughs> mm. Oh, hell yeah. All right, that, that big big chicken plate has a little bit of kick to it, man. This is cool. Yeah, that big chicken plate is as authentic as ever. It's really, really good, man. Right. Gotta try the polo, which is a traditional rice dish. With, I believe this is a beef polo. So it's got raisins, carrots, and this is cooked for, for a couple hours, man. The meat looks nice and tender. Beef polo. Oh my God. So if you like Afghan Kabuli polo and Uzbeki polo, it was very similar to that with the carrots and the raisins, man, and the rice. I soaked up all the stew from the meat, man. So good. All right, ma'am. So we're gonna try their naan. This is a traditional Uyghur style naan. It is nice and steamy. Mm. Overall, great experience here at Dolan, ma'am. Definitely get their lamb tower, their lamb kebab tower, get their pulao, and their gapanji. Those are my favorite dishes here. But everything was good. And even though the naan was a little bit dry for my taste, ma'am, I would say if you dip it in the dapanji um, stew, it's, it's actually really, really good. If you're ever in Southern California and you want your Uyghur food fixing, Definitely come to Dolan's, man. They got, I think they got a couple other locations, but we hit up the one in Irvine, man, off of Culver, and food was amazing. Customer service was on point, and we'll definitely be back, you know what I mean, next time I'm here in Southern California. But to all those watching, man, we appreciate the love and the support. Continue to watch our videos. Remember to leave a comment for your boy if you have any suggestions, and if you've eaten here before, let me know what you thought of Dolan's in Orange County, man. Until next time, fam, peace. Assalamu alaikum.